right, I hope you like that cinematic intro. This is another Calvin and Hobbes book I picked up. I got 11 total and have them listed for $90. Now, I also picked up this Peter Max paper airplane book, even though there was one page missing because of all of these brightly colored pages inside. Peter Max is very famous for his 1960s psychedelic artwork. This is a 1971 first printing, totally worthy of the first double tap of the year. Now, this slipcover book would also be worthy of a double tap. Check out the link up top to learn more about slipcover books. This one says the Rohan Master on it. You definitely want to check out anything with that name on it because the Rohan Master is a famous 15th century French anonymous artist who is well known for making these very colorful, emotionally evocative, often religious themed art pieces. And people love to thumb through these pages and just take in uh, the entirety of all of these uh, different beautiful uh, pieces of artwork. And so this book here should go for around $30 to $35 with the slipcover. Got 118 books in total, including the comics, into two heavy boxes. So I had to check out with these two boxes and then come back for a second round. All right, back in for round two. This is what the bookshelf looked like after I got through with it. Uh, I saw this along the way. I thought of Jesse Shops, these two lawn flamingos. $250. I got to pass. Sorry about that, Jesse. Um, over here is the media section. I always love to go over here. always find something. The TRS-80, if you ever see anything TRS-80, pick it up. It was one of the first home-based computers that was released in 1977. And underneath it, I was really happy to see these old Microsoft binders, which, as you'll see when I open this up, are also related to the TRS-80 because Microsoft produced products for that computer system. Now, as an aside, if you ever see the game Microsoft Adventure, pick it up. It's about a $1,000 video game. <laughs> you can sell it for that much if you get it. Now, uh, you could see earlier, I, I pointed out that this says 1978. Um, they're basically software manuals. The other says 79. I've not seen these come on the market before. And I love that they're in the old Microsoft binders. This is likely how I would display it all as a bundle. So I'm excited to see what could potentially happen with this. Look at that. Big shout out to CEO Carol Cedrone. She's a big Bruce Springsteen fan. So anytime I come across a Bruce cassette, I pick it up, especially if it's only 50 cents. And look at this. I found another one. So I'll start building a little lot. Now, this one here, if you look closely on the front, you're going to see there's a little crack on the top of the case. So what you could do in these situations, just look on the back and you'll see the label and try to find another cassette in there that matches up to it, like this one here. They both say CBS. So all you got to do is switch the content. So we'll put Kenny Loggins to some use here. And uh, as you can see, just switch them out. And, uh, you know, it's just a plastic case. So, and anyway, it looks better on Kenny because you can see it just blends in. The scratch blends right in with his hair. So double tap there for Bruce. Picked up uh, two of these. I love getting these. Uh, they help me to test out DVD VCR combo units, which I pick up a lot of. So just toss them in the box and on we go. Now, I also hit up the toy section here, and I love this tray. It's absolutely amazing. I can't believe the condition of this thing. And it's amazing with all the different letters of the alphabet and the artwork. And then on the other side, it still has the legs uh, to stand up. So we got to just test this out, see how it stands. So uh, we're going to lay it down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That thing is nice and only $10. I mean, I got to try to at least get $50 out of this. Now, on the other side of the table, I saw one of my competitors pick this up and put it down. And I'm like, wait a minute. I could tell from the other side of the table that that was Empire Strikes Back. Look at that. That's vintage 1979. And look at that. When you open it up, we got Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Darth Vader. Uh, this is awesome. 
And the funny thing is the people who are selling these online, who, you know, when they ever come across them, they're not putting Boba Fett in the title or Darth Vader. They're just saying Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Use those keywords. It'll help you get more money out of them. So also came with the sheets as well. So, so many cool characters for just $15. I was totally pumped. Grab that in two seconds. Prime time. Enough of this Star Wars talk. What do you say? You take me back to PTHQ. Get out of here. We have to do our new audience question segment. So in each haul video, I'm going to try to find three artsy, crafty, uh, sculpture type of items. And you tell me which one you would have picked. And I'm going to pick one. So we've got that $2 panda-based ceramic bamboo holder slash planter. This $20 Lucite water lily. I have a feeling a lot of people might pick that one. Uh, and then there's this $25 grotesque pitcher. But as you'll see on the bottom, it has a crack on it. So I figured it would only be decorative and wouldn't actually make much use as a pitcher. But I went with the more conservative choice, uh, just break it into a newer type of area here. So I went with the uh, $2 panda bamboo holder slash planter. I have it listed for $30. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. All right, well, this is where I kick off the beginning of every spring sourcing season. And this was definitely the best results by far because I was able to get there when the sale started. Now, I didn't realize that they were going to have a sheet to sign up. And so I was number 48 in the door. But that just goes to show you how much stuff the people ahead of me missed because so many people just pass up the books. So the first round when I wound up getting all those books and the comics and stuff, that was a total of $118. There was no negotiation today because it's the first day. Nothing will be negotiable until the last day. It's a three-day sale. But still... A dollar a piece, it's totally worth it. Like this one here, this is going to pay for almost half of that lot. I've sold this before for $62.50 when I got it at an estate sale. So I expect to do similarly with that book. Now, the second time that I went in, I paid $33 for everything. But I think I'm going to do very well with that stuff as well. So overall, I paid $151 for everything, but I am super excited. So now we got to get back to uh, Primetime Treasure headquarters and get this stuff out and start processing it. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, I'm home. How you doing? Hello there. How was your day? Look, you got a rainbow on you. Look at that. You got a magic rainbow on you. Wow. Everyone's so excited to see you. They can't wait to see more of you now. Daisy, it's Gizmo. Daisy, it's Gizmo. Springtime. Get to see Gizmo. There he is. Daisy, it's Gizmo. There's your boyfriend. There he is. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> stay away from there, Gizmo. Gizmo. <laughs> so happy to hey. All right, well, this is the general overview of everything I got today. I mean, look at how many Dr. Seuss books there are. That is absolutely crazy. I'm just loving this Boba Fett right here on these sheets, pillowcases, and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna list this one right now so i've got my listing set up right over here and i mean there's just stacks and stacks and stacks i can't believe this calvin and Hobbes set i mean there's just so much stuff it's awesome so we're gonna get moving on it hey daisy what are you doing sitting there on your little corner huh what do you think of this deal we got you think it was good so as you can see here, some of these Dr. Seuss books have a number written on the cover in ink. What do you think, Daisy? What do you say, live, laugh, bark? <laughs> anyway, so we don't want that on there. There's a really easy solution for this. So what you wanna do is you wanna get some 
nail polish remover. Right, Daisy? You got to do your nails later. Take some, take some of your nail polish off. And um, you just need a cotton swab. So you get a, get a cotton swab. And dip the cotton swab inside. Just get some of that on there. And then you'll just apply it like this. Now I already took the part of the one off just to show you. And so you're just going to just keep rubbing it on here like this. And then you could just either keep rubbing with that or you could take a paper towel and just keep rubbing it some more. And then eventually it will come off. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. Just put a little bit of light pressure on it and uh, it'll be gone. So we've got a few that we have to do that with. We've got this one here. Now they don't all have it. Like that one doesn't, that one does it. Uh, that one has some there as well. You know, that one does too. Here's another one. These are for the, for the bigger ones. This one's okay. This one's okay. That one's okay. And that one's okay. So let's get the rest of them fixed up. You know, and sometimes it just depends. You could just rub it right off just like that. You don't even need to put a bunch of pressure on with the, uh, with the paper towel. It just depends on how long the ink's been on there and how long it was on there for. That's it. But, you know, you should just obviously use the paper towel to just wipe it off. There you go. So I just got done with them and I turned over the back covers. And uh, this is the only one that had an issue. But my goodness, this kid's killing me. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. All right. So as you can see, it's all off now. And the numbers easily came off the front covers here as well. So you could use this information when you're sourcing because you could get these types of items cheap because the general public seems to think that when there's ink on a book that it's permanent and it's not. And also a lot of your competitors will think that as well. So they'll just leave all this stuff just sitting here. So now uh, time to display it and get this listed. All right, so this is the general overview shot that I decided to take. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to set up because some of the books are big and some of the books are small and there's not an even amount of the big ones. There's 13 big ones and then there's 23 of the smaller books. So that was the best configuration that I could come up with for that initial picture. But I did decide to sell them all in one big lot rather than trying to break them up because uh, that just seems to be the best way to go with it right now. Uh, lots of similar sizes are selling for up to $500 right now on eBay because of the whole controversy regarding Dr. Seuss in general. Now, if you had the six Dr. Seuss books that they are not uh, printing anymore, those were selling for up to $5,000 just for the six books. But eBay's been pulling those off of their platform. But still, that has had a general effect on all Dr. Seuss books in terms of spiking up the prices. So, you know, I don't think the market is going to get any hotter for these books than it is right now. So up they go all at once. All right, now let's head inside Primetime Treasure Shed Quarters. There's something that I want to show you. Whoa, look at that, rainbows. If I walk through them, I think I'm gonna feel like Jesse Shops. Yes, wow, I do, wow, what a cool feeling. That's not what I wanted to show you, but you know, as much as I love all my superhero stuff in here and the signs, I have not had proper Mountain Dew representation. But now I do, as you can see right over here, James Lapore and his wife Heather were nice enough, they are subscribers here to the channel, to buy me this awesome sign that now I'm gonna look at every single time I come in here. And as you can see, it's positioned right next to the Green Lantern sign. So, you know, got double green going right there. But uh, I'm real excited. I mean, the shed is coming along with the decorations and everything. I'm really happy with everything. So 
Uh, overall, it was a great day. Thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for everyone who has watched to this point. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and check out membership. It's a lot of fun. Get to use those emojis. Get to get access to the videos one hour early. And I'm going to have lots of videos coming up this year. Lots of haul videos. We're just getting started. So make sure that you hit that join button and check out all the different levels and perks that membership has to offer. I really appreciate all your support. And James and Heather, thank you so much for that awesome Mountain Dew sign. I'll see everyone at the next video. Take care.